Hey guys, Soul Closet here, back making another Minecraft tutorial! I know it's been a while since I made one of these, but I haven't really thought of anything good to make one of. Um, but overall I decided I would make one for Not Enough Items. Um, if you haven't heard of Not Enough Items, it's a play on the name of Too Many Items, um, a mod that's very similar, but Not Enough Items is basically a Forge-only version of that, and it makes a lot of changes that are very useful. If you've played um, Tekkit, uh, it is the inventory mod that shows all the items on the left and has the recipes and everything. It's that. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do anything with Tekkit today, because um, that's not my specialty. I'm not very good with Tekkit, and you can't install things to Tekkit anyway. Um, without me rambling, let me just uh, show you how to do it. So, first what you're going to want to do is you want to open up your favorite little browser, and I will put the link in the description, however... Um, being the unprepared derp that I am, I have to go and find the uh, page for it. So th the link to this will be in the description. Uh, it's... oh. That's some lag right there. Damn. There we go. Come on. Okay. The link to this will be in the description. Um, for right now, you're going to want to download a couple things. So you'll end up at uh, this guy's mods page, and you're going to want to open these two spoilers. The one for Code Chicken Core, and the one for NEI, Not Enough Items. Uh, both of these are what you're going to get. So first, you might want to get Chicken Core. Uh, you'll see it where it says MC 1.5.2. You're going to want to click Download. Do not click Source. Do not click it for any other version. Uh, now this will take you here. Um, and if you were watching this in a later version of Minecraft, if the mod is updated, you'll click on your version. But this tutorial is being made for 1.5.2. In any case, this should download, and if you're in Chrome, it should be right there on that handy little bottom bar. Now, down here, not enough items, you're going to go to the spoiler inside that that says Install Instructions and Downloads. See that? You want to go there. And you want to go to where it says Not Enough Items. Find your version of Minecraft, in this case 1.5.2, and click Download. Do not click Source. Do not click it for any other version. Neither one will work. Source is for people who make mods off of it, and the other versions are self-explanatory. They're the other versions. For both of these, you want to click Keep. It's very important. Now, if you have Forge, uh, you can skip this next part or watch it if you just love hearing my voice. I'm kidding. You probably don't. Um, in any case, you want to get Minecraft Forge. So, the link to the downloads list for Forge will be in the description. However, the website is very slow, so sometimes it doesn't even work. I'm just telling you. I might have Forge already, in which case I'll use that just to save time. You will have to download it if you don't have it, uh, and you'll download it from the link in the description. Ah. I don't... Okay, I have Forge. Okay. In the... Uh, in an effort to save time, I'm going to use the forge that I already have. You will want to definitely use, you know, a forge that you download. Um, but I'm just saving time. In any case, go to your downloads folder, uh, uh, or wherever this downloaded to, and move the... What the hell? Oh, okay, never mind. Move the code chicken core, whatever numbers, dot jar and the not enough items whatever numbers dot jar to your desktop along with your zip for minecraft forge um, for this tutorial you will need to have a zip opener winrar winzip and 7zip will all work um, if you are on mac and for some reason you're watching a pc tutorial the unarchiver will work although that would make no sense why are you here you should probably go find a mac one um, i'm using 7zip uh... but yeah i got a lot of questions about winrar uh, it always works, guys. So I just wanted to let you know. Um, next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to Run. Uh, and most people would access this by going to the Start menu. Uh, I have Windows 8. And typing in Run. And it doesn't show up here. Because complicated. Uh, Windows 8 is weird. But for you on Windows 7, you should be able to find it just fine. Um, the icon looks like this. So go to that and type in percent symbol a p p d a t a percent symbol. So percent app data percent, and then press enter, and it should take you here. Click on dot Minecraft, 
and it should take you to this list of folders. You should see bin, config, lib, resources, saves, all those lovely things. You're going to want to click on bin. Now, this might get a little bit weird, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right-click on, on the file called minecraft.jar. If you are using Windows 8, it should just say Minecraft, and then it'll say executable jar file to the right. Right-click on it. If you have 7-zip, it'll say open, it, there'll be a little thing, and it'll say open archive. If not, you're going to want to go to open with, and find where you installed your uh, file manager. However, it should be here, so you should see WinZip, WinRAR, 7-zip in this list. Just click on that. Uh, that'll set the default, uh, which is fine. Um, but I probably shouldn't have done that myself, so I'm just going to quickly change that back. Don't do this. Like, don't do not do what I just did. Oh, God. It's crashing. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to want to open that with 7-zip. I'm going to say 7-zip. You know, use whatever you have. Delete the folder called meta-inf, meta-inf. You always have to delete that for mods. Always. Now, once you have that done, open up Forge and put them side by side. The box on the left here is Minecraft Forge, the way um, you would have downloaded it from the link in the description. Okay? The thing on the right is Minecraft with no meta inf. Make sure there's no meta inf. Now, you're going to want to drag, you're going to want to select everything inside of Minecraft Forge, okay? And just drag it on over. Don't put it in any folders, just put it inside the Minecraft.jar file using your selected zip opener. Great. Um, you won't see the difference, but it's there. Now close both of those and run Minecraft. Now, I really hope I did this right. I did. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to make that little box. It'll load. It'll take a little bit longer than usual to load, most likely. Uh, in any case, there should be a mods button right here, which is what you want to see. That's your confirmation. Um, these don't matter. But you want to make sure there's a mods button. If there is, and Minecraft is running fine, then you can just quit out. Okay? Now, go back to run percent app data percent. Dot Minecraft. But this time, stay here. Stay here. So you should see bin, core mods, mods, extra folders now. Go to core mods. If that folder is not there, then you didn't install Forge correctly, and you're going to want to go back and watch the tutorial part again. Anyway, in core mods, take code chicken core, a bunch of numbers, dot jar, and not enough items, bunch of numbers, dot jar, and put them both in there, okay? They should be in core mods, not mods. It's very important that they go in core mods. Now, close out of this, and run Minecraft. The box should open again, and it should take a little bit to load. But when it is open, you should see it says five mods loaded. Click on mods. Not enough items and code chicken core should be there. Now, here's where I show you that it worked. Let me go into one of my creative mode worlds. And I'll full screen it so you can see. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, now open up your inventory. Press O. Oh, wait, no, no, don't press R. Press O. Open up your inventory. If you're in creative, click on the survival. You should see this. This is what you want. Now, by default, it's not going to do anything in creative. In survival, if you have it on recipe mode, it'll show you how to make something. If you have it on utility mode, I don't... Oh, then it'll let you, like, change creative mode and things. If you have it on cheat mode, then whatever you click, you'll just get... See? You just get one. And that includes the monster spawners and everything. Um... So yeah, if you're using this for survival, you want it on recipe or utility mode. If you're using it for creative, then you're going to want it on cheat mode if you don't want to use the creative menu. Uh, other than that, guys, um, this should work perfectly. If it doesn't work, um, just put your problems in the description. Uh, if there's anything I missed, you know, feel free to tell me. I can redo this tutorial um, updated for any things I missed. I might be, you know, forgetting stuff. I've done this a billion times, so... Um, any comments, questions, whatever, just uh, feel free to tell me. I'll respond. Just don't worry. If it's if it's valid, I will respond to you. Um, other than that, don't forget to uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, 
and I'll see you guys next time. So, closet out.